Welcome to the Straight Razor Edge Friday Special. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving, and welcome back. If this is your first time here and you're interested in learning how to straight razor shave and all things straight razor related, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the bell next to it to be notified when I upload videos. That way you won't miss a thing. In tonight's Straight Razor Edge Friday special, we are doing a straight razor half pass revealed. All right. Now, AJ asked, you should do a detailed video on half pass. So that's what we're going to do. All right. Now, for our soap tonight, I'm using Stubble Trouble Up and Atom with a Whisper of Cool. So this is like a mocha cappuccino to me with menthol, which is excellent. Okay. And we are going to be using my ZY Grand Slam. Just a beautiful razor, half hollow, real wood scales, metal spacer, excellent shaver. Okay. Now that fits in the range for all of uh, you new guys, teenagers, uh, all of that. Okay. This is for you because uh, what I do is a little unconventional but the way my hair grows along my jawline is goes back like this here it goes like this and the hooks back here on this side on the jawline it also goes that way and then here on my neck it goes that way as well now here pretty much straight down so what we're going to do in this is i'm going to do a half pass so i'm going to do my jawline and my neck from my ears to my chin right here okay from the outside in and that is going to be mainly primarily against the grain except for right through here which it'll be across the grain okay and as we're going through here we're going to try to even maybe sweep that blade a little bit this way because that hair is coming this way as well on both sides so, you know, that's the best way I've found to get my neck. So let's get started. I've already loaded up the brush because we've already done the first two passes of this shave. And we are now focused on the half pass. So I'm just going to put on that lather, get her going. Yep. Now, hopefully you guys have been enjoying these... Uh, Straight Razor Edge Friday Specials. I really need your help to uh, give me uh, more ideas and questions about new Straight Razor Edge Friday Specials. So go ahead and put them down in the comments for me. I really appreciate that. That would be awesome. And you can uh, really be a part of this channel. All right. Now, so we got that going. I'm going to just... Put a little more water on this, okay? Kick this up just a notch. Let's kick it up. Yeah, that's, that's starting to look a little better. All right. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's it. Nice. Okay, so we find that so we know where it is. Okay. So again, with the razor, I put two fingers in front, two fingers in back, thumb goes back there, okay, underneath. And now, instead of, you could just go across the grain again, either downward or upward, okay? But for me, i found it's better to do against the grain on my jawline and my neck. Now, what I do is I reach around, grab that ear, and that pulls the skin right here, okay? And then I hold this blade like that. And in doing so, I'm able to actually get the right angle to get this hair against the grain, all right? So let's do it.
See if I can get you in a little closer. Okay, now we're going to switch off. Now I'm going to grab my jawline and actually pull it. And I'm puffing out my cheek. This is flattening out this whole area, okay? Because the flatter and taut you can get that skin, the better shave you're going to get, okay? So now I just go ahead and grab there, and then I pull that back. I puff out my cheek. Everything flattens out. Yeah, and there you go. That's looking good. Now here, we're going to kind of do the windshield wiper. And hit a few little bumps there. No big deal, but it does happen from time to time. All right, so now what we're going to do, we're going to switch hands and we're going to do the other side actually in the exact same way. Okay, now I'm just going to, we're going to put a little soap on that side and that will help those little bumps I hit. Yep, so there's another tip for you right there. So now I'm reaching around with my hand, grabbing my ear. This is going to stretch to this section right here. And see, when I do that, it stretches everything out and works really well. Okay, this is the best way I've found to do this for me. Okay, now I'm going to grab right there at the jawline, puff out that cheek, flatten that skin. All right, there you go. Now that's looking good. Yeah, I hit a couple little bumps there. No big deal. Again, windshield washer here. There you go. Now I'm going to finish off that jawline. in that chin. Just like that, we got that side. Now I clean off that blade. All right, there you go. And we are done with the half pass. Yep. Hopefully uh, you found that helpful. And we're going to just get this washed off. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Nice shade. Okay. And, of course, follow it with alum. That will help on those bumps we hit. And then you can follow this up after we dry it off with your favorite uh, witch hazel aftershave or uh, whatever else you'd like to. 
Hopefully you found that helpful. All right, you can click up here to see the first pass, a beginner shave, and it is the best beginner shave you'll see. All right, and then down here, you can see my latest video. Click here to see a video specially picked out for you. Click over here on me, subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Have a great day and a good shave, and I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.